Hello and welcome to Flight Simulator 2004 and I'm Andy and we are currently sort of descending into Ontario, come on, Ontario Airport, not Ontario, like you see the, the state in, not state, in the part of Canada but Ontario in California. So we're here descending with the um, UPS E3 300 and uh, which I fly for UPS Virtual Airlines. Okay, cool. Um, we got to turn here. Final, it's over there somewhere. There it is, out the right. Over here, so pretty close. Got it. I left set up for two six right. Which is there? Under nine seven two five seven. So we can set it to the arc, and we'll set it to land. It's the same as approach. Six thousand feet. Here we go. Disconnect now around there, maybe. We'll continue. Go to speed and to one eighty. Hopefully, we can soon intercept the localizer. Should be happening any moment now. Flaps of slats, right, brother. No, 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 why didn't that work? Approach didn't work, I don't know why. Well, maybe it doesn't like the heading mode. Hmm, interesting. So this is like composite, composite of different panels basically but um, well no it is not it's, it's actually a basic panel that just added some stuff to it but mostly it's the stuff is from the beginning so probably get light slope soon One sixty flaps fifteen. I'm just gonna heading and select land there. Now I think we should be able to intercept it. Yes. Lights up land, no gear. Turn on landing lights. So everything is off here if you look at the courses course because it's basically using the old data from when FS two thousand four was released with the headings and stuff. But everything is updated in the navigate nav database here, so that's a new one. So basically in the sim it's the old headings and in in the nav database, for instance in this ISG sim, it's the old heading, so or that's why we'll go for it 145 as our approach speed and we'll get us a pop don't want this one. okay so get on big green flaps are set almost 30 40 
45, 30, 40. There you go, 45. And ready to land. So when I go in here is where we're going to park on the left side here. This is the UPS terminal. Uh, so we're going to go there. The green thing here is the weather, so I have the FSB tar installed, so that's why I'm running weather that way. So, the turn. Oh. So, 1,000. You can just turn all the final off. So it's pretty nice airport. I can't really. I think you just go if you go to flights in the common confined on terror. There, one. I actually I can't remember. I downloaded it. I'm sorry. Terribly sorry about that. But it's pretty cool airport. So let's turn. Other throttle on. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, thirty, twenty, twenty. Reverse thrust set. Be ready for up. Eighty knots. Cool plane. I like this plane. Really cool. Those are the very crowded at the terminal currently. I think we'll go here. Get across to the other side. There. Line lights off. Um, Pito heat off. Next light on, strobe is on when we're crossing the runway. Track the speed brakes. Flaps. And then we can turn on this off the strobe lights. The strobes of this model is pretty nice actually. <laughs> Strobes, actually, pretty nice and good strobes on this model. Some models don't have a good strobe, but this is definitely has a good strobe set of strobes on it. So I think this is the SJ Stewart Global Aircraft, just the Stu Stewart Oval Global Air. Uh, I think it's Stewart Global Aircraft. We could find it. You just Google it, uh, or you look at. Um, uh, what's the word? Can avoid it. Like flightsim.com, you can find these models. Um, it's been such a long time since I installed them, so I'm not 100% sure of uh, where you found them. I, I have them sitting on my hard drive, basically, so that's where I get them from. Air Airbus A300 for UPS. I think they have like 52 of these, which is pretty nice. I have a ton of them. Um, don't know. They're gonna repla be replaced by 767s, seven, basically, most of them. Um, which is a really cool plane too. So I mean, that's okay. That's a nice plane. Um, this is kind of cool. I think mo this is. I mean, the A300 and A310 is a cool airplane. Thing I mostly like are the belugas, which came from this. Um, they're gonna be replaced too by the um, 
by the A330 Baluka version, which I, I, can't, I lost my the name currently. Sorry, so you probably, you guys probably know what it is. But uh, so they're building. I think they've made one model, one of those versions, and they're gonna do some more. So A330, A330 which is basically, it looks like a Beluga, but I think it's slightly bigger. And um, kind of cool. And cool plane action. The Beluga is a really cool plane too. There's actually good good models in FS2004 for Belugas. So have that installed. It's pretty sweet. I guess in real life they're pretty difficult to fly because they're so big and probably very... I rather, uh, was looking at a documentary and they're quite wind sensitive. I like the fact how the wing actually bobs up and down there when you're taxiing around. So that looks kind of pretty realistic. So I usually fly, I don't usually fly in a, in the virtual cockpit uh, because I get much better frame rates with the using a 2D panel. So I usually use 2D panels, I like that more. Oh, it's bad turning. I don't. I need to change. Uh, as I can tell you, I need to change my UPS AI traffic because they don't fly the DC8 anymore. But apparently, I have an AI DC8 installed somewhere. So I need to check up on that and see what they actually fly. They don't fly this anymore. But is it? That's a pretty sweet uh, AI model. Yeah. I think the UPS A and DC eights are pretty nice too. That's a later model, like a seventy or eight seventy maybe. Turn on tax lights. So November 169 UPS is closing. So MD8 and MD11 too there is, is the old scene. The old. Both of those are old. And DC8 is the only one with a new liver. That's the old liver. I don't think there actually are many old liver UPS planes left there. Out there. Hard any. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, this is what's approaching landing to Ontario in California with a UPS uh, A3. 300, E300 600, E300 600, um, cargo. So, pretty nice, cool. Hope you like it. Um, we'll see you next time. See what we'll figure out then. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. I'm Andy, and if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit like, but leave a comment or share. Take care. Bye bye.